Hey guys, how are you doing today? It's Sharon, Little Britain Company. And um, I am going to go on a little bit of a trek to the Dollar Trees in my area. We're gonna hit three, I think, just this morning. Uh, my three normal ones, but I just wanna see what's there. I've been seeing a few kind of cool things coming out. And I need to buy beans. I know that sounds weird. I need to buy beans. I'm also looking to see if I can find more of that gluten-free pasta because we tried it the other day and it is delicious. Um, Big Brit's going to come on at some point and he's our, he's our resident chef. So he's going to come on and the, he did it a special way. Like he cooked it and then he rinsed it and then he cooked it again, something like that. But it was like real, regular, normal pasta and both Little Brit and I had no reactions to it heaven. So I'm going to see if I get more of that. All right, let's go. Okay, we're here at the first Dollar Tree on my list. Okay, this is one of my favorite Dollar Trees. It's always very nice and neat. They always have quite a nice selection. Let's see if we can find anything interesting, exciting. There are definitely more eggs than you can shake a stick out. I don't think I've ever seen these. Do you see, they're all fruit. They're watermelon, strawberries, grapes, lemon, lime, and orange. That's really cute. Oh, they're down here. <laughs> I'm stretching. Those are really cute. Down below, I have these cute cute little Easter buck. I, these are adorable. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. There's a reason I find this very interesting and I'll tell you when we get back. It's because I'm making something similar and smaller. Hmm. I don't, I'm not loving all the unfinished edges. I just feel like it's all going to fray and come apart really quickly, but I think the base of it's very cute. All right, let's see what else we see. They have definitely got Easter eggs here for, you know, any interest. Animals and seashells and dinosaurs, maybe? Right up there? Looks like they might be dinosaurs, supposed to be dinosaur eggs. You've got, oh, there's baby shark. And cats, I think that's what those are. Over here we've got small bunnies next to big bunnies and sports and oh my all right i'm trying to go slower i do not want to make anyone seasick let's take a look down this aisle right away i think these are really cute i think they've done a nice job with these this year probably the best that i've seen and then they have really a variety of the ears I like these little sponges. Very cute. Everything you need for your Easter basket. Those are cute. Those definitely have a Vans vibe. A 1980s. Let me, let me pull back out here a little bit so it's not so. Okay. I am doing a really cute little... Um, adaptation with these. So I'm going to buy another set. I think that I like that one because we're doing some stuff with them. We've got a video coming out right away on those. Let's see, got bubbles, the giant ones. I bought some of those last year, so I don't need any more of those. I always like the glitter putty. With Little Brit's birthday coming up and ours taking a bunch of teenagers to a big place, we're going to have some fun things around, but it's probably not going to be their thing. It's so weird when they get to be that age where all of these wonderful things, which were so fun when they were little, are no longer fun for them. These are adorable. They're crayons. I have not seen this before and they're really, they've got some really cute detail there. Okay, I like those. 
got all the different um, glasses and look at those. They really do have a lot of different options. All right, so down here, this is the um, little bubble gum or probably more jelly bean. I like that. I have one of those. I don't, I think I have this one too. I don't want to buy things that I already have, but man, they're really cute. And I think they are much better, better, better with jelly beans or really small pieces of gum because it's a small opening, but the jelly beans I think work well. These are cute. These are very cute. Not bad, they're actually getting better. There are some things I'm on the lookout for today. Let's see if we can find them. They've got the soaps down here. We have, we had those last year. I think we still have the bunny one. We went through the chickadee. I'll show you a little bit closer. We went through the chickadee, but we didn't go through the bunny. So we still have the bunny out for this season. <laughs> it's cute. So here you've got the watermelon and lemon soda. That's a that's a cute name for it. Uh, so there's a, that's hand lotion. Two bags of hand lotion. Bath seeds. All right, over here it looks like they've got they've started putting out some of their summer items, which are also perfect for Easter baskets. My mother used to give us these giant Easter baskets. So what she would do is just take a box and she would cover it with contact paper or wrapping paper and then she would fill the box. And it was always so fun because it gave her the chance to put sort of bigger items in there. I will never forget the year that she put a, um, she had been saving like whatever you get off of the Kool-Aid at the time. And so she and my best friend's mother um, they both ordered these Kool-Aid stands. I don't think they thought that through because we lived like a couple of houses away from each other. So we each put up our Kool-Aid stands and then it was, it was a competition instead of working together. But we, we were pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so over on this side, oh my goodness more Easter candy than you can shake a stick at. Right. It is a lot of Easter candy. Sour gummy carrots. That sounds like something a little bit would like. He's also, he also does love, he does not eat much chocolate, but he does like Reese's. He's not a big chocolate kid, which is, you know, kind of hilarious. <laughs> Now, these aren't the ones. Uh, someone recently had something like this, but it glowed or it had light in it or something. What's this one? Among Us. I guess that's a, is that a show? I don't watch as much. We don't really watch cartoons. Little Bird is past the cartoon stage. I do like these um, these board games. I am uh, using those with some of my paper crafting and um, creation. So, all right, let's take a look at the wall. All right, I was gonna look at the wall, but then this caught my eye. These are very cute. I think for me, I think the bird is the cutest. I think that bird looks something like high end that you would see. I mean, this these two to me look a little bit more a little girl room, but this one, you know, makes me think an adult could certainly have that in their space. So we have a lot of the facial items. What's this one? Hydrating lipstick, lipstick and lip balm. Inspirational books and bath and f sugar files. Wow, just a lot of bath stuff. I am fairly full with bath stuff. I will say, okay, let's turn over here. Okay, so on this wall, there's some really cute stuff. I will say for me, um, I love some of their signs that they come out with, but they can't get remotely damp or they're just done. And so 
<clears throat> I have started to shy away from those. Not always. Sometimes I give in because they're just really cute. And I know I'm going to have to just keep them really separate. I think this banner is adorable. I love that it's felt. And you can do something else with that too. That's a thought. I'm going to buy one of those. I have a thought with this one. Okay. So down here we've got the garlands. I'm pretty sure I have some of that in my stockpile. Got the eggs. They really do create the cutest signs. I just wish they weren't made out of the stuff that falls apart. Go back a little bit so you can see. Did some bunny say Easter? It's cute. The welcome signs. For me, so much of this belongs outside, and I just. Okay, these are super cute. I have the carrots. I bought two more this year, but let's see. I think, oh, no, the one, this one's got, look at that. Okay, that one's got carrots. This one's got the Easter basket. Are there any different ones? I think it's just carrots. And the, oh no, this purple one. Oh, look at the pink one with the little bunny. I dropped it and it landed up right. That one's pretty cute. Look at those to go with the carrots. It's interesting. I think that, oh, that's just, okay. That is the, with the purple bow tie. All right. Those are very cute. I love these. And I have actually, I have taken these before and taken them apart and used this piece and this piece in my paper crafting and put this aside. I think I have one of these sitting aside, but they're not that difficult to take apart. Um, and then, of course, it won't get wet. <laughs> Makes me happy. Alright. Carrot patch. Everybody welcome. These, these are gorgeous. I wish they were on tin. Those are really, really, really cute. Okay. So over here, you've got lots for Easter coloring. Oh, they've got those pretty bottles I've been seeing. I love that pink one. I really don't have a use for it. Yes, I am showing restraint. I will tell you it's difficult for me, but I am showing restraint. Now these, pretty sure we got, we had these all last year. I bought a bunch of these last year and I've used some of them in my, it's very reflective, let me see if I can help. Um, and I've used them in some of my paper crafting. So I really don't need any more right now. I do like the pink bags, those are cute. Okay, and then my favorite way for you, making the Easter eggs is to dunk them. All right, let's see what else we can find. I found another Easter aisle. They're kind of everywhere, which is kind of funny. All right, how many are here? Just one. That's a cute sign. All right. So down here, they have some of the Easter books, which are really cute. I always like the Beatrice Potter ones. Is this a... Okay, so I, again, I actually think that I got this one, but this has got some of the original artwork. It's just beautiful. I always love that. I always love Beatrice Potter. I once had an original, um, and, I, and I got rid of it because I'm an idiot. Yep. But you can't hold on to everything all the time. Okay. So this is a little craft bottle. It's cute. Small. It's cute. Um, my only issue with this craft bottle is that for $1.25, I just think that that's a bit much for that size. So, so that I will leave. I think those are cute little bunnies that you can make. I I absolutely love these. I just don't know what I would do with them. But I think these bottle brush Easter carrots are fabulous. I wish I had a plan. If anyone has a good plan out there, something I could do, what, what decoration can I do with those? I'll have to think about that because I do love them. Look at these. 
these little birds. Those are cute. I don't think I've seen these glitter ones before. And they've got butterflies. Anything else? Birds and butterflies. Okay, so it's a pack of 12. Huh. That's new. I always love it when I find something new. I do like these. I think these are really cute. Oh, for that side. There's a lot. Anything that, you know, is a container, there's always a, so much you can do with it. I do love these. These are, again, these are adorable. They're so adorable. I th do I have those? Hmm. I don't know. You guys probably know better than I do. I don't remember if I have these. I have to think about that. They have quite a few, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Oh, these are cute. These are very cute. These little bunny clips. All right. These I have, and they are just wonderful. You can... Um, you get eight in this pack for $1.25. That's actually a real pretty decent price. And then you can um, um, duh, 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 Mod Podge with those. Get some really pretty tissue paper or uh, napkins or, um, you know, honestly regular paper. But so cute. Or you can paint on them or, oh my golly. And I think I told you this before. Kate has this amazing thing that she's doing with some of the smaller wooden pieces. I really want to try that on a bigger one. But I've got some of those I want to try. I have to do a session with Kate. Kate, you hear me? I gotta do a session with you so you can teach me how to do that. Please, please. Okay, so we've got these, I will tell you. So I have some of these pillowcases at home and I am doing a craft with these. So I bought two and I'm using Dollar Tree product and it is going to be fabulous. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to throw that out there. So then we do have some of the uh, St. Patrick's Day items. I did not see, and I am looking for some of those, but I didn't see much in the way of um, the Easter window clings because I had something I want to do with it. I could do with that too. So they've got some really cute St. Patrick's Day items, and then they just, I guess, aren't going to unbox the rest of it. Okay, I like this one, Irish Wishes and Shamrock Kish. <laughs> I can say it, Irish, wish, wish. Irish Wishes and Shamrock Kisses. There you go, <laughs> oh my golly. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Over here, we've got some of these um, cool floral forms. You got the bumblebee and then the hive. And then down here, these are so cute, the different pig, uh, metallic pigs. Okay, let's see what else. So I am loving all of this bee stuff. <laughs> I really do. This is so cute. Look at those. Okay, so the gnome, the bee gnomes are adorable. Do you like these be kind? Are they all, oh, no, they're not all be kind. Let's see what else we got here. Be kind. That's cute. It's a really thin wood, but it would be cute to get a bunch of these and put them together in different directions. So if you had maybe you know, just a bunch of those and then... Um, Put like a glass piece over the top of them. That would be really cute. I like the be kind outdoor plaques and the home, the rocks. Let it be sweet, kind, and humble. Be leaf, cute as can be. The plaques. So that's just thing. So I just don't know what to do, what I would do with this. I have not bought any of the, um, that's a flower sack type stuff. Can't think of the name. Um, cause I just don't know what to do with it. I haven't, until I know, until I have a plan, I'm just determined not to buy it. 
I have bought these because I think they are absolutely adorable. I think those are so cute. What's this one? Oh, flowers. This is just so cute. I mean, because it's got the etching in here, you can do your own paint job on it. I'm not much of a painter, unfortunately. Right. And then they've got the chickadees people have seen. I think we've seen this before. These are new, I think. I don't think I've seen those. And then sort of modern cats and the hanging jars. Cute. Oh my gosh, guys, look what I just saw. Taco Tuesday. I need that. Oh my word. Okay, so you got the Taco Tuesday. Oh my god, these are so cute. Are there any others? That's really cute. Alright, are there more? Yes, oh my gosh. Oh, I've never seen these. These are amazing. Cute. They don't really have, I'm not seeing any different fabrics yet. And then, oh no. Okay, let's see if there's anything else different over here. I didn't see anything else different down on the other part of the craft side. Those are amazing. So, they do have fabric. Just not seeing anything. It's making my head turn. So, oh, they've got more up here. They've got like the nice yarn. I don't do a whole lot with yarn. Look at that big cat back there. This one's cool, but I think I've seen that before. I think that one goes up here with the cat. Those are cute. Hmm. Okay. Onward and upward. Look what I came across. Okay, this is absolutely fabric I have not seen. I'm gonna grab two of each of these. Mostly I grab two in case I wanna make a bag. But that is brand new fabric. That's awesome. What is this supposed to be? How much of it? This is not a fat quarter. This is 12 by 20. It is super soft. Oh, I have never seen that here either. It's more of a winter thing. I gotta think about that. They've got some really cute wood pieces right now. They've got a lot of wood. A few that I haven't seen before. So these are meant to hang and you just add your own. Oh, it's got like a little bit of string back there. These are cute. Oh, I haven't seen these before. I could actually use some of these. They've got the pliers. They've got the, um, well, they're all different kinds of pliers. They all have different uses. Oh wow, that was that's a good find. Craft sticks, also known as popsicle sticks. I think you can get a, a better deal in a bigger package at some other places. This is got 60. I will say that is an unusual size. They're longer, they're not huge. They're not like the tongue depressors. That is a, that might be a good deal just because it's just different. Um, they're not as thin as regular popsicle sticks. They're not as big as the tongue depressors and they're long. They're almost as long as the tongue depressors. So popsicle sticks are often shorter. That is really interesting. What is this here? These are cute. If only I could still sew like that. I used cross stitch all the time. 
do you miss it? Oh, <laughs> I love the donut. The peanut butter. Then I get like, the candy and the flowers. With the eye. The all knowing eye. You've got macrame kits. They are really doing a lot. Look at these soft trees. Those are really pretty. Oh, and then you've got. Here we go. Sorry, go away. This doesn't really matter. Look at the felting kits. What is in there? Okay, so you get the felt, a foam pad, felting needle, shape needle, and then the key ring. These are lovely. Oh, like that one. The avocado. Oh, they've got a strawberry. Oh, I just cannot take on any more projects right now, but I really want to. Oh my goodness. All right, so they've got the gym canvas. Look at these different ones they've got. So tiger, the sunflower, the toucan, hot air balloons, oh my word. And then these are really, really nice summery stickers. Lake or summer or by the beach. So cute. Wow. All right, let's see what's over here. They've got all sorts of tie-dye stuff. Now, at one point, I know some people had been finding entire tie-dye kits. I've never seen those. This is a lot. All right, let's keep going. So I came into toys um, for a couple of reasons. One, there, I want to see if there's anything little and fun that 13-year-olds might enjoy. This is what caught my eye first because this is not a Greenbrier. I've seen these plenty in other regular stores and um, basically you just you, know, you stick it together and then it'll pop and then it flies. And that's the kind of thing that I think would be, you know, I can see a bunch of giggly 13 year old boys chasing that but it was all over the place. So, I don't know how many I need right now. Originally, we allowed him to invite five boys, which is six teenagers, to keep track of. Assuming that because we're going out of town, that not everybody was out of town. And now it looks like everybody's coming. And I... Holy cow. Two, three, four, five, six. Luckily, they are very... They don't have a problem with sometimes considered traditionally girly colors. Boys are actually really into pink right now. I think part of it is just showing people up and saying we can do it, which I'm okay with. All right, so I thought those, those are fun. We're not gonna do all this since, since we're taking them to a big water park for two days. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of other stuff. I do have, I will say, I have over the years bought quite a few of these and I have quite a bit in my uh, stock because I keep it like a birthday stock of stuff just in case. Something's last minute, which does happen. Anyway, um, these are great and we'll take those so that the kids can have those, um, keep them occupied. Multi-pack, huh? Okay. The harmonica's cute. Most of these kids are in band, but I am not giving them harmonicas because we would never, ever, ever sleep. What is this? And there it goes. It's by Creative Kids. Oh, it is packaged by Greenbrier. Okay. Let me see if I can find that piece. Of oh my word. I hate it when they overstack. Okay, I got those back up. These are funky, weird, squishy things. Oh, look, a gun. How about, no. Oh, road trip bingo. How many? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three,
one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I, moved, I moved down a little bit in the meantime, sorry. So I wanted to show you how cute these are. I actually picked up a set of these last time I saw them because I think they're adorable. You've got all of your characters here. They are just so stinking cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I just love them. If, um, for kids who like the super pets, they've got those. Oh, here we go again. Uh, well, apparently the Incredibles want you to see those. They've got the Masters of the Universe. That's funny. Um, to Monsters, Inc., Super Pets, Toy Story, um, The Incredibles. They've got the PJ ma um, Masks, Stitch, as you know, my favorite, Nemo. Well, they've even got the new, um, the Kung Fu Pandas. I don't think that's the new one. I think it's what it Justice League. Brave. Holy cow. Cuckoo. Uh, Coco. Jurassic Park. I don't see why they do Jurassic Park for kids. It's not a kids movie. Okay, and Wally. -E. Maybe the first Jurassic Park was a bit of a kids movie, but you know, people get eaten, so. Transformers. Minions. Oh, look at the Minecraft. I have not ever seen the Minecraft before. I think I'm gonna do a little thing for Little Brit with the Minecraft. Sometimes I'll do these, um, it's, yeah, what do I call it, a surprise bowl. My mom used to make those. And you take little things and you really just wrap it up with the, um, streamer type and then you keep going and going and going and all sorts of stuff falls out and it's really fun um anyway these these are really cool these are fun for kids especially in the summertime or you know the horrible rainy day. we've had so many rainy days lately um little brit's not this age but when he was when he was you know younger we we, we would do stuff like this all the time grab up the paper towel the, the um uh yeah not paper towel, well the paper towel does tubes too, or the TP tubes, and make different things, or you know, the old cartons, so, what's this one? I love it when they do the recycling bottles. This would be, um, so this is a fun project because you can actually shoot these things off into the air. So that can be quite fun. We used to do that with Little Brit too, all the time. We would get the old bottles and we would literally <laughs> shoot them squishies. That's all they are. They're squishies. They've got pies and different pieces in here. Alright. to see. So this was it. So um, Jennifer with Happiness is Homemade For had gotten some of these I think for her husband. And I just think it's so cool that they have the light block in them. I'm going to grab just a couple of these. I just want to make sure they have the light block because I thought that was really cool. That is a the concept of being able to just have a, a block that plugs in. Uh, when I saw that years ago, maybe it's, it's about a five-year-old idea. It was so awesome, um, but it was also kind of expensive, you know, sure. So now it's just here. So that's cool. I'll bring those home for Big Brit and Little Brit to play with. Okay, so they've got Nerf disc launchers with mystery disc. Is the launcher, it's a Nerf disc launcher. Yeah, there's like a little launcher thing in there. That might be fun, but again, boys. So, Little Brain has had things like this, you know, usually spiders. Now I like the bees, that's kind of fun. And you swat them and they end up on your wall. And um, I'm gonna tell you all, my caveat to that is, take them off your roll right away because if they sit for any amount of time at all, there's like an oil type substance on here and it will stain your paint. We have had that happen. He shot one onto the ceiling and we didn't see it until, I don't know, honestly, at least a week later and we had to repaint the ceiling. Yeah. I love my child. Okay. 
So let's move on to another one. All right, Dollar Tree number two, the last Dollar Tree. I had stopped filming for a minute and and I was talking to one of the people, well, the manager there about filming and things. She was like, oh, we don't want you filming here. So I just, I stopped, I just stopped. But this is Dollar Tree number two. So well, let's go, let's go in and take a look. Okay, Dollar Tree number two, look at this cute little double pack basket. It's not huge, but it is super sweet. Got some really nice buckets. Oh, I love these bags. Oh, this is such a cute bag. Isn't that adorable? That is really cute. Okay. I always think it's funny how the Dollar Trees have so many different things. They're each different. Oh, I wanted to find these. Let's see if I like it. These are really pretty. Got that one. Let's see maybe the others. Looks like, oh, that's cute. That's really cute. See if there's something different over here. This is pretty standard. Let's see, this is that one. Okay. Let's move on. I'm gonna turn this around. So believe it or not, that was most of what they had over in their Easter. Um, but these are really cute. Although I will say some of these are on my don't buy a Dollar Tree list. I was just looking at these are cute. Look at that. That's, that's very interesting. So these were in their $3 section and they look like they marked them down, all of them, down to $1.25. That is new. I guess that's their way of putting things on sale that are not selling at the prices they thought they would. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, I've seen these. I saw these last summer and these are adorable and I'm pretty sure I have some of these, but they are super cute. I know I've got the beads. This is the kind of thing with your Mod Podge. Um, you can make some really cute decorations and you get, I like that they've got the beads. How many do you get? One, two, three, it looks like six. Looks like six. That's really cute. It's a wind chime. Look at these wind chimes. What a sweet activity to do with kids. Okay, let's keep looking. So this is kind of new. That's a lot of nice little different size sticky notes looking for something like that and they've got this one's more marble right here let's move this forward so you can see that one. just see those two I actually like the color on that one but I don't do a lot with numbers what is the stupendous pandas Look. That's a new color. That's a new size. That's a nice size. I really like that, but I don't see any more tops other than that one. Okay. So I bought a bunch of these for my Steam Lab about a month ago, and the kids have broken every single one of them. I think I bought five packs and every one of them got broken. Cause they'll, without thinking, they'll like do this on the table and these are just too weak for that and they just break. So I bought some um, wooden ones. <laughs> Hopefully will last longer. I bought those. So I got several packs, I got a bunch of packs of those. So hopefully. So, I don't really 
I seeing a lot new here? This one, there's a couple of little things here, but that one looks like it's been old and around for a while. So this Dollar Tree used to be the best, the nice, the neatest, and now it's the one, uh, the previous one I took you to. This one is now like that. Um, and here's why. <laughs> because the manager from this store moved to that store. And yeah. So this was the one I was thinking about getting, but there's only one game board, two. So you get two game boards in the roadside window. Hmm. Not sure that'll work. Not that I think the boys were in, will need a whole lot to keep their attention when we're traveling. Okay, let me see if I can get around. You know, I'm just gonna try to, there we go. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Probably belongs in the kit section, but I like that. There's, there's a lot going on here. Expo markers are definitely one of my, the single Expo markers are definitely one of my don't buy it here. The single Sharpie markers, if you, you know, they sell them for a dollar at uh, Dollar General. So, I've got the zebra pens. I do like the zebra pens. Some of these, I mean, that's a good, that's a good deal. I think these are fun. I think these are, these are cute for kids. And some of the different pens that they've got. Those may not be in as good a sport. Huh. For mechanical pencils. Oh, I like these. I really do like the pastel um, fur bands. I do have some right now. Like I said, I'm trying I'm trying not to repurchase things at the moment. <laughs> I know, it's shocking for me. Alright, let's see what's on the next doll. Okay, Crafter's Corner. Diamond painting sets. Look at these cute little crochet here. Oh, that's really cute. I'm trying to remember. Haven't I seen those before? Let's do it. I saw these. I think these are really sweet. And they've got the bigger sets with token. Such a... Sorry guys, this one I might not be in too long because it's just a hot mess. These are nice. These can be really useful. The little carrying cases. They've got a lot. They do have a lot. Um, I'm skipping the plus sections. I just don't think there's anything I'm interested in the plus sections. Hmm. I don't see any new fabrics here. I got lucky at the last place, but I don't see anything new here. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay guys, this is the last Dollar Tree number three. Let's see if it's got anything good. So, okay, inside this third one, look at that. That's really cute. Like Lego Easter eggs. They have actually quite a few of the window clings. I wasn't planning a lot of those before. Let's see, over here. Okay. They've got a lot of the things that we were looking at earlier. Let's see what we can find in this one. This is cute. This one. That's cute too, actually. A little felt bag. This. And I can't get it open. Look how cute that is. And that does not have to be just for Easter. That would be really cute for our birthday. It is very, very thin plastic. Very, very thin plastic. That's cute. It's really cute. There's, there's have so many uh, 
different ears this year. Just everywhere I look, they've got a different one. Every everyone I've gone into, I think. Well, here's the last one. That's so cute. Look at that. That's really cute. All right, what else can I find? Those gnome Easter baskets. Oh, those are adorable felt. They're all felt. And then they've got the um, gnomes and the stuffed animals. Really cute. I love the, um, those. Very sweet. Look at this bunny crossing. That one. That is so cute. I'll turn you around so don't get dizzy. Look at this one. I know I said that this was on my don't buy a Dollar Tree this week. They have the last one of the last video. I'll link the video below. But yes, buy this one because I didn't see anything like this. And this is so cute with the bees. I am loving that one. Okay. Okay, I think this is new. Right, it's eight pieces, but there's a lot more than one from here to some of the other ones you've seen. Look at that one. That is so sweet. Okay, I really, really like those. Those are really cool. Again, they've got the they got the bottle nose, um bottle brush, I'm sorry, the bottle brush carrots and then the trees. They got the really nice trees down here. They've got the bags of beads, 60 cents. And ribbon. What is that? It's a. How's that a bunny? There was a bunny. No, it's not a bunny. Oh, these are letters. <laughs> I was not figuring that out. Okay, they have a lot of wood pieces. Some of those, I think they're adorable. The foam shapes, cute. Okay. I don't think I've had these. So I'm over here in toys, and look at this stuff. Macrame rainbow. They've got a whole bunch of these different nice, simple cross stitch. Those are fabulous for teaching kids how to sew. And they've got the DIY with the macrame cactus. Let's see. See, let's see it's cactus in that. And then they've got a paint by numbers. These are really cool. The Crayola ones. Let's see, down here they have Blank art. Is this plain trinketing? So, okay, so it's got some things that you can color in, but if you look at this, there's a lot of extra like shrinketing paper there or shrinketing stuff. That is so cool. I feel like just every Dollar Tree is so different. They're cool. getting a lot more games in. They have Hi Ho Cherry, Sorry, Trouble. Guess Who, Monopoly, okay. like the girl power. These are cute, little Harry Potters. They have got a lot. They've got some of these new puzzles in. The color forms. Look at the perler beads. I forgot something in my hand. Let me put this down. So, it looks like, oh, no, there's a bus. And what's this one? They got a little house back here. And here, here's mostly all plain. So, 
I see the plane and have that, but they've got perler beads. How cute is that? And then make on a mask. Like, they really do have a lot. Oh, oh, I missed this one. Look at these oh, Nickelodeon. They got the baby shark. They got SpongeBob. Okay, that's cool. That is pretty awesome. So if you've got some little ones that are into, well, you gotta be careful with the little tiny pieces, but especially SpongeBob. I mean, that's something that I know a little bit used to love. Scra oh, they've got these scratch and reveals. Ashley used to love that was her favorite thing for years. She loved those things. Okay. Oh, they've got little wood shops over here. And then little velvet paintings. Oh, look at these scratch cards. Six in one. Those are cool. Make your own pinata. It's like a whole kids craft area. Okay, super cool. So I just found these on this end cap and I have to say, this makes me think of, um, I don't know what kind of seashell it is, maybe you guys will remember, but that just makes me think of, a, of seashells for some reason. I really like these little, these little bottles. We've seen most of this before, the, different bottles and things, but that one I don't think I've seen. They have a lot of books here. This, um, I've talked about this one before. I think that's an, a wonderful book. Um, I think I've seen most of these. I think we've seen them and I've read the backing of them. Uh, Red Moon, I know we've read that one. Me, myself, and him. I do love that these, the way these are set up so you can actually see the books. It all comes down to this. This one I've never seen. Ryan Boyle. Patton Oswald. Exclusive. Exclusive Barney Noble. Barnes Noble. Brother Band, Return of the that's new. That's a Rangers of Rangers book. Which is one that we, a series that we carried in school. Some of the Wolverines. So up here, Maggie Drawing book that's very popular. Truth of the Divine. This is, that one's not doing that. So what else is behind here? Trying not to drop anything. House of Fortune. You have to look at that one. The Lies I Tell. What's House of Fortune? 1705, 18th birthday. Gotta find a husband. Amsterdam ball. A fear, a fear, a feat of sweeping magical storytelling. The House of Fortune is a novel about love, obsession, family, and loyalty. And the fantastic power of secrets. Interesting. I'm trying to cut back on the book buying. Lots of westerns. in the mess. Louise James. Exile music. How the French talk about love. Interesting. I'm pretty 
sure I've yes I know we I've bought that book in the past it's this one this is 18 the nanny and down here there's even more that's cool. Dark Divide. Illuminated. Oh, it's really just. Yeah. I have that one. Daddy Racers. Diana Palmer. Landing Christmas. I know that I got that before because I gave it to my sister. Or she got it from the stocking, actually. Oh! It's this one. Interesting. I think that's pretty much it for the books. So sorry about all the up and down. So I did find the Elmer's Goo Cosmic Shimmer. So this is um, it's a jar of slime. And I think they're all pretty much the same. This kind of black shimmer slime. I also have these kind of cute to do sticky notes. I kind of like that. Those are cute. Look at these clipboards. Take a look at these clipboards. I think I've seen these before. So, smooth writing, bright, easy cleanup. Glass. Okay, let's try that again. It's a glass pen. Is it meant to write? Or is it actually, it's actually glass. And then you use the ink. You've got pink and the green. Huh. to see. This is new. This is um, the cover sheets for your, and then they've got the monthly pages. Got a couple of different ones. Month of goals, important, and birthdays. I kind of like that. Got 30 sheets, which means that okay, it kind of shows you what's in here. I'm gonna kind of get one of those and just look at it. These are new the magnetic pads. Let's see, time to shine, take it easy. The best is yet to come. to show you these. Look at those cute car air fresheners and I love that taxi one. That one just makes me laugh. Uh, but this is what really caught my attention. This is a three pack. It's just called Scents. I have no idea if it smells any good. This is not a Greenbrier. It is definitely some form of name brand. So I, I think I'm going to get one of those and um, I'll let you know how it smells. There are also these stench stealer air fresheners 
So they've got a bunch of different stuff in here now. These little tree ones, which you only get one in the, bag, in the bag, looks like the stench stealers are a four pack. Let's take a look at those. Okay, so here in the pet section, we have these plush toys, um, plush dog toys that are made by Pet King, which is the name brand for that one. Got kind of critters uh, and hearts is what I can see there. Uh, I don't know that they feel terribly substantial, but these, look how cute those are. If you've got a little dog like our cupcake and these little pet crowns are so stinking cute. Um, but these, I think I've got some stuff in my hands here because they didn't have any anything when I came in. All right, so you've got these purple and that, that's cute, like little bandana colors, doggy bones. If you have someone in the military, oh, that's really cute. And this one looks very piratey. Oh my goodness, all right, I think that's all of those. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just found these hands. These are Capri Shapers. So I believe they're they're all medium, the ones that I see, but they're Capris. Um, smooths and shapes. It would probably look really cute under a dress. And then these massaging foot covers. So you put those on when you're, especially when you're wearing your high heels, they'll disappear into the heel. These are fabulous. And these are all 10 to 12s. And they're Hanes. All right, I'm getting some of those. 